Well, we have live team coverage to keep you ahead of this storm tonight. We have reporters in the PD and along the Grand Strand. We start tonight in the PD with News 13's Andrea Gibbons. She's been covering conditions there all afternoon long. Andrea, what are the current conditions there right now? Annette, the rain is coming down at a constant downpour. We are also starting to see a little bit of ponding over there and over here also. Here is some video during one of the peaks of the storm. This is just outside of our office. You can also hear sirens outside. Some businesses prepared before the storm with sandbags to prevent indoor flooding. Several businesses have closed early, including Chick-fil-A. Town Hall downtown is still open, however. Two of his workers said they were surprised they were still open, considering they usually close during the storm. And Florence PD Electric is reporting more than 100 power outages. And in Darlington, there are 1,700. Reporting in Florence, Andrea Gibbons, News 13. Andrea, thanks so much. And now let's head to the Grand Strand. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi joins us live from downtown Myrtle Beach. And Jackie, how are the conditions there right now? Annette, I had to move into the parking garage off of 10th Avenue North because the wind started picking up. My camera and my tripod almost fell over. The wind has, I mean, the rain has also picked up as well. It almost feels like hell, hell, hell. However, I have noticed that there are a lot less people out on the streets now. Earlier today, I was in North Myrtle Beach where I saw multiple people out on the beach watching the storm, walking their dogs. One, Guy even was out there using his metal detector. The waves were big and were crashing into the Cherry Grove Pier. The waves here in Myrtle Beach are also looking big, if not bigger. I've seen some debris in the streets and some of the road signs are being held down with sandbags. Most of the businesses here in downtown are also now closed. And coming up on News 13 at 6, hear from a couple who has been vacationing here since December, and they've now experienced multiple storms. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13. And Jackie, thanks so much. It looks like the wind in your live shot was also picking up there. And right now we're checking on conditions over in Garden City. News 13's Adriana Lawrence is live in our storm tracker tonight. And Adriana, when we saw you at 5, winds were really starting to pick up during your live shot. How are conditions there right now? Hey Annette, now we're in the storm tracker here. We're riding around Garden City Beach and I'll go ahead and give you a live look what we're looking down here. So we are going down, um, we're going down Dogwood Drive right now and you can see some of this flooding that we're coming up on here. This is near Pine Avenue um, and again we are on Dogwood Drive. You can see some pretty, pretty heavy flooding that we're going through right now. Um, nothing, I mean, you see the sedan in front of us. It didn't um, hurt the sedan or anything like that, but I mean, it's pretty significant flooding that we've seen so far, at least while we've drove around Atlantic Avenue, um, South and North Waccamaw Drive. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn right down here and actually go on North Waccamaw Drive. And you can see some more patches of flooding here. We're gonna head down um, near the beach here. Uh, the wind has been pretty, it's, it's picked up since I last talked to you guys. Uh, 30 minutes ago. It, it's picked up as we've gone on. The rain, uh, it's pretty steady right now. You can see there's not too much rain. Um, so I, I think that's maybe why we haven't seen too much flooding here, but we'll go ahead and head down on North Waccamaw towards South Waccamaw. And we have seen though, I mean, the wind, it's been pretty steady. Uh, the, the lights, the traffic lights down here, they've been swaying in the wind. Uh, palm trees are just going crazy. Haven't seen too much damage so far again while we've been driving around and for the past 30 minutes. Um, but I, I mean, we've seen some debris, some palm trees down or palm leaves down, uh, but really uh, not too much damage so far from what we've seen. So coming up on News 13 at six, we'll still be in Storm Tracker here. We'll keep you updated on what flooding we're seeing. Live in Storm Tracker in Garden City Beach, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.